Well, when you look at this table, you can't help but be encouraged, can you? Wexford Youths up to 12th place right now with 11 points on the board and three wins in our last three games. We are the surprise package in the Premier League. And I've got to say, I think that's what's making us play really well as well. We're so unpredictable. We're so erratic. You just don't know what Wexford team you're going to see when you watch us play. I think that plays into our advantage. And I think the media know that as well. And I've just done a press conference as well. And the media must love me going to those press conferences because they know whenever I'm there, they get a different story week in week out I always have something different to tell them so uh, let's see what they've written about me today consistency the key to progress says Wexford youth's boss I feel like I've seen this article before What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Youth Club. This is episode number 7 and today we have two more games with Wexford Youths against Middlesbrough away and Sunderland at home as well. In the last episode we beat both Spurs and Hull City as well and extended our win streak to three games. Right now we're one of the informed sides in the Premier League and I never ever ever thought I'd be saying that. Hopefully today two more solid results will see us extend the undefeated streak to five games as we try and break into the top half of the table for the first time ever. Can we do it? Let's find out. So Middlesbrough away for the first game of today's episode. Are we going to make it four wins in four games? That would just be unbelievable. And honestly, when you look at that table, our record is made even more impressive by how bad our team is. So I'm feeling so confident going into this one. Do you know what? I really do believe we will win. This is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, seriously, why does this always get shown every time I say I'm feeling confident? So Burris team then, uh, Jordan Rhodes is leading the line for them. They've left Negredo on the bench. Pretty interesting selection. Ramirez also on the bench as well. And Valdez too. Quite a, a very interesting 11, but still better than our team. But again, I feel very confident despite that stupid infographic. And here is our team. Uh, a couple changes once again. Just rotating the lineups as much as possible, really, just because of stamina reasons and because I forget what players I played last week but still it's a decent enough team I feel and I do believe we can get another win so come on Wexford let's get another three points here and another massive result then it back towards Murphy and uh, Murphy will give it towards Fitzpatrick not the best of kicks though from our star goalkeeper now Stuani on the ball plays it inside Rhodes turns to turn and shoot and finds the back of the net straight away and our chances of making it four wins in four have taken a big blow already. I gave the ball away with Murphy, the goalkeeper there. Rose Squibbles turns, goes for goal, and it's a great finish in fairness. No chance for our number one to redeem himself, and the English-born Scottish striker has made it 1-0 to the Borough. Not a great start. Harris through the gap towards Haver, and a good chance here with Haver on the ball. Tries to get inside, it'll drop towards Patrick Murphy, and Murphy will try his luck from range and scuff the shot well wide at the post. That was his moment there. Here's the man in the moment right now with four goals in the league and he couldn't even hit the target there. That's not really a good sign. He had shooting space, plenty of time as well, and he completely miskicked the ball. But here is Harris through towards Haber and maybe another chance here as Haber finds Jay Evans here down the left, tries to turn Gibson, does well, sees Murphy peeling off his man, Patrick Murphy! Oh, he's just a star! Patrick Murphy is just a star! Middlesbrough won, Wexford Youths won. What can this guy not do? Jay Evans Evans takes around Gibson, lovely little no-touch dribble to fake out his man. Patrick Murphy peels off his man and just slots the ball in off the near post. It's such a composed little finish there from our number 10. It is five goals in the Premier League for Patrick Murphy. I can't believe this guy. It was great work from Jay Evans here to fake out Gibson with a no-touch dribble. Takes it round him as well. Rolls the ball through towards his strike partner, Patrick Murphy, who takes one touch to get the ball out of his feet sets himself and strokes the ball into the bottom corner off the post and in to the back of the net to put Wexford back on level terms. This guy is absolutely unbelievable. It's George Friend for Middlesbrough. Oh, he gets a really, really lucky deflection there and plays a one to a Jordan Rhodes and Friend is through and fires it just over the bar. What a chance there for the left back. Just can't keep the shot down. Half time, 1-1, and we may not be in front, but as things stand right now, we're extending our undefeated streak to four games, and this isn't a bad result at all. Borough attacking down his left-hand side here. George Friend, great cross to the middle, and Negredo gets on the end of it, and the Spaniard off the bench fires Middlesbrough back in front. What a delivery from George Friend, and Negredo puts it in, and we fall behind once again. It was a great cross, to be fair, from George Friend, no doubt about it, and a brilliant finish from Negredo as well, sliding in on the floor. There's still over half an hour to play, but as things stand right now, we're set for our first defeat after three wins in a row. 
Well, we're beginning to look a little bit tired out there, a little bit worse for wear as Burrow once again come forward. Stuani on the ball, tries to get himself inside. Good ball out wide towards Alex Baptiste instead, inside our area. Now drifts out of it. Still Baptiste on the ball. Great cross to the far post. And the Grado once again gets on the end of a cross from a fullback. Gets his second of the game. And I think that might do it. Another great delivery to the centre. This one in the air, not on the floor. But Negredo says, I don't mind where the ball is located. If it's anywhere near me, I'm going to find that back in the net. 3-1 to the Borough. And I think that is going to be the game. And our first loss since the game against Everton. Such a shame. Well, in this second half, it's been all Borough. I can't lie. They're coming forward again here with the corner. Stuani takes it. Negredo's header. What a stop by Murphy to stop Alvaro from getting a hat-trick off the bench. The save will probably be in vain and count for nothing, but still a very impressive save there. And that is just, I mean, what kind of camera work is that? Here's Ramirez for the Borough. Tackle by Fitzpatrick. Oh, come on, man. Seriously. I mean, that is... What? Are you joking? Cross to the centre. Stuani's header. Just wide the post. Wow. Some lucky breaks for Borough at the end there. Not that it really matters. Final score. Middlesbrough 3, Wexford Youths 1, and sadly the win streak is ended after three games due to that man coming off the bench and bagging a brace, and it's all over. We've lost, absolutely gutted. And these stats you'll see here as well, I must say, don't really fairly represent what was going on in the game. I mean, I won't try and deny it. Middlesbrough did play better than us and do deserve the three points. But we actually had a pretty solid first half and deserved to be at least on level terms going into the break. But in the second half, we capitulated, really. We couldn't cope with Alvaro Negredo and his two goals. Separate the sides. They get the win. We get the defeat. And uh, consistency is the key to progress, but sadly, the consistent run of wins is now over. Well, pretty devastated to have lost that game, to be honest. I was really hopeful of extending the undefeated streak to four games, but that's just how it is. Got to dust ourselves off and move into the next one. But before that, we have a youth come up for report, so you can see how our academy players are currently getting on right now. Uh, I think they are all still 15 years old, though, so sadly, this means basically nothing. Can't promote any of these guys yet. And it's a shame, too, because a couple of them have pretty decent potentials and good overalls as well. So so hopefully soon they'll become 16, we'll get them in the first team, and it could help us win a few more games. And I'm also going to send my scouts out as well. Uh, I don't really know where to look. I did England, Ireland, and America first time. So for this one, I'm going to use three different nations. Uh, I rarely ever go to Oceania. So why not go to Australia? That's quite an interesting one. But maybe we'll find some decent talent there and uh, get some good Strayer youngsters into the team. And the second guy can go to... Where should I send this one? Uh, South America, maybe? That's not a bad shout. Uh, possibly Possibly hmm, Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia. That could be quite interesting. Maybe the next James Rodriguez signing for the Wexford Youth Academy. Probably not. But uh, yes, yeah, let's go, go Colombia for the next one. And I think I'm going to send my third scout to the Far East and see what he can pick up from China. Uh, that's was that that was that was supposed to be a Donald Trump accent. China. You know, he says like China. I can't. That's just, it's not, that's nothing like Donald Trump. That is literally zero, that's nothing like Donald Trump. Oh god, just send him to China and see what he can pick up. Don't try accents ever again. China, China, China. And so we'll look at the squad report as well, just before we move into the second and final game today. Uh, some of you guys said, can you check Niall Murphy's potential? Well, unfortunately, he has nothing. I did check it off camera, but yeah, you can see it right there. He's got no potential whatsoever. That's absolutely gutting, but I don't really care, to be honest. I really like this youngster, and he's staying in the team, mainly because he's Patrick's bro, and we need to keep the uh, the main man, Murphy, up top happy. But uh, you can take the score report anyway it's still obviously a really poor team and some of you guys have been saying what are you going to do with the regular Wexford use players that you can't use like uh, such as these guys right here um I have said before what I'm planning to do is wait until I've got a full team of youth players so probably after the next few uh, three or four youth players into the first team and then just terminate their contracts just release them all from their contracts and therefore just have a bunch of youth players and no one else so it'll take a while before we get enough players to do that but uh, yeah eventually they'll all get released and that'll be that and oh my word this squad report is taking forever I forget sometimes just how many players I've got in this team there's like 40 or 50 players in this team and I can only use about 20 of them so we're about five goalkeepers I say five I was trying to exaggerate there for dramatic effect I've got like seven goalkeepers in the team right now this is just absolutely ridiculous man honestly and so after that loss to Middlesbrough, it's not really as bad as it could have been. We've only dropped one place in the table into 13th place with 11 points right now. We're still two points clear of the drop zone. That's not really a bad defeat in a way to Riverside. It could have been a lot worse for us. 
All right, so we may have tasted defeat against Middlesbrough, but I do believe we can bounce back today. David Moyes, I am coming for you, and we are returning to winning ways here at Ferry Carry Park. Come on. All right, so our lineup is the same as the one that got beat away at the Riverside Stadium, and I don't really care. I trust my team. I really, really do, and I do believe we can bounce back here with a win. And this is Sunderland's lineup. Uh, the main man, Jermaine Defoe, is leading the line. Not a real surprise. He will be hard to stop, I know. But I do believe we can keep him quiet. We'll stop Sunderland from scoring. Early corner for Sunderland. Jack Rodwell is going to take a good delivery as well. And it misses, well, almost everyone. If it's Patrick. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, my goodness gracious me. A clearance deflected. Mavrias plucks it out of the sky. Puts it into the bottom corner. That is unbelievable. I try to clear the ball here, and it just deflects off the man straight to Mavrias, who pops it between the legs of the number 32 and into the bottom corner. Jermaine Defoe is leading the line. Not a real surprise. He will be hard to stop, I know, but I do believe we can keep him quiet. We'll stop Sunder from scoring. I'm not going to point the fingers at Murphy. It was between the legs of one of his teammates and passed him in a flash, but it just, it just ricocheted up into the sky, came down from the heavens, and unfortunately as it came down to earth it was put in and right now we're getting taken back down to earth from the heavens because we had won our last three and as things stand right now we may lose these two all right free kick to us in a very dangerous position just outside the area don't really know what to do with this one so i'm just going to try and dummy run as much as i can here try and put a couple players off and then lay it off if i can towards bennett brilliant set piece routine and then the finish goes into orbit. I mean, we confused the Sunderland defenders, but I think I also confused the guy that took the shot because he just smashed it way over the bar and probably over the stand. Catamol's header to Paddy McNair and it's cleared by Fitzpatrick and now a chance on the break if we want to push it. Evans through the gap towards Haber, controls it well. I'm looking for the lad, Patrick Murphy, who goes through the middle and it might come to him. Goalkeeper went for it, then caught in no man's land and Patrick Murphy beat him to the ball, but unfortunately couldn't keep the shot down. Still 1-0, a lead off there for the number 32. Harris to Murphy. Murphy towards Jay Evans. Evans through towards Fitzpatrick. Good chance here. Fitzpatrick on the ball. Waits for a runner. He'll give it back towards Patrick Murphy. Oh, Murphy. 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 Great save by the goalkeeper. This lad is unbelievable. Free kick to Wexford. One of few of those today on the hour mark. And a great chance here to make it 1-1. Taylor standing over it. Going to throw it in towards Patrick Murphy. He is the main guy. This is your time, Patrick. Put us back on level terms, son. In it goes. Murphy. You just knew it. Patrick Murphy makes it 1-1. We're back on level terms. This boy is unstoppable. Great free kick by Taylor. And Patrick Murphy, 6'4", rises highest, beats two white shirts in the air. The goalkeeper has no chance. Wexford 1, Sunderland 1. Patrick Murphy is just an absolute lad. And there it is. It's all over. Final score at Ferry Carry Park. Wexford 1, Sunderland Sunderland won and you know what I'll take it it's not a bad result for us in the grand scheme of things we may not return to winning ways it is two games without a victory but we didn't lose the game we came from behind to claim a point Patrick Murphy got us back on level terms he's a star right now and right now he's keeping us up I mean I say he's keeping us up we've still got another 27 games to go but you know what I don't really care we played all right in this game just as good as Sunderland in my opinion and deserve a share of the points we do claim one and again it's it's not a bad result. Not a bad result at all. I'll take it. It's now three games in a row at home where we've not lost as well. Positives. Got to look on that bright side. And for Patrick Murphy, there is just nothing he can't do. He's six foot four. He's got four star skills. He's got a very low overall, but he won't tell you that. He's on fire right now, scoring goals left, right, and center with his left foot, his right foot, or his head. He is an absolute monster. What a lad. And that will end today's episode of the Youth Club as well, guys. So a massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please do consider leaving a like, as likes are, of course, very much appreciated, and they really help the channel out as well well much love to you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you for the next episode of the youth club very soon